using an ET gauge, it's important that we uh, stage the stage of growth for your varying crops. Uh, for corn, we basically count the number of leaves that have exposed collar uh, and until we get to about V16, 16 leaves. Uh, and after that point on, the coefficient is 1.1 uh, through uh, hard dent. So it's important to stage your crop early in the season uh, so that you know where you're at. Uh, in this particular situation here, uh, we start at the bottom. The first true leaf is kind of a rounded leaf. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. This would be a five leaf corn. Let's look at this next one. One, two, three, four, five. And this one that's not quite, the collar is not completely visible would be the sixth leaf. What we typically suggest is where you've got your ET gauge or uh, on the edge of your field to mark that sixth leaf by spray painting it or cutting it so that next week when you come back all you got to do is count the leaves above that and you know where your stage is. The reason we do this is the lower leaves will eventually slough off and then it's hard to know is this uh, V6 or is it V5 corn. So uh, here's another plant. Le this would be one, two, three, four. This one's number five and this one isn't exposed yet. It will be number six. Here's another field. Uh, the plants here are a little smaller. Here's a rounded first leaf, second leaf, third leaf, and fourth leaf. So this would be a V4. Now here's another one, pretty much similar. One, two, three, V4. Uh, the fifth leaf is just starting to come out. So it's important to stage them early, uh, mark them somehow by uh, cutting that sixth leaf so that when you come back to the field you don't have to go splitting plants to know what stage. But once you get to the uh, tassel, you know, the coefficient is 1.1 for that stage on. Just as with corn, it's important to stage your stages on soybeans. Uh, typically when the soybean plant emerges, VE, uh, it has the two cotyledons. Then at VC, the plant has two unifoliate leaves. For irrigation purposes, for soybeans, we count the number of nodes. The first node, V1, would be the first node with a fully developed trifoliate leaf on it. Uh, that's when the leaves of three are not touching each other. Uh, the second, uh, or V2, would be the second uh, set of trifoliate leaves, and then we would continue to count that as the season goes on. The plant will, be, will begin to bloom in late June, early July, beginning bloom, R1, where you see one blossom uh, on the plant, R2 would be when you have an open flower on one of the upper two most nodes, and then R3 would be when the seed is developing.